Hi, today I've made simplicity, uh, a simplicity pattern, but it's the Lizette range, 2059, and I've made the dress here. The only thing that's put me off slightly is all the bias binding which I've had to made, uh, make, and because I made this with, um, it's called like a floaty fabric, it's like a polyester mix, um, it just wouldn't hold the creases on the irons. When I tried to make it with my bias binding tool, it didn't hold the crease, so I had to sort of freehand it. And I'm a bit sick of bias binding because I've just made a top which had loads of bias binding in which I had to make as well. And so I think my next make will be something without loads of bias binding. Um, that would be a good start. So anyway, so I've made this and I've worn it all day today, hence why I'm a bit dishevelled looking. Um, but it's super light and airy, so it's a hot and sticky day today. Um, and it's really easy to make and it's a nice loose fit as well and it's good for the summer. So I will put the clip in here so you can see how straightforward it was to make it. Cut my pieces out and what I'm going to do now is this is the front of it, front of the dress. And I'm just going to do gathering stitches which go around the front neckline. And then I'm going to put a line of stitching in the back neckline called stay stitching to stop the neckline from twisting out. And then I'm going to attach the front to the back at the shoulder seams here. So I've stitched front to back at the top seam and I've gathered, you probably can't tell this busy fabric, you've gathered around the top um, and now it just says sew it along the side, on each side seam, so I'm going to do that and then once I've done it I will put it through my overlocker just to neaten it up. I'm now going to do the belt, um, so I have just cut out two of these, oops, still attached. And where the notch is, um, I then stitch those ends together in a one centimetre seam, and then I'll have one long piece and I have to fold it um, in half lengthways to stitch so I can then get my tie. You'll see what I mean in a minute. I've stitched it all but I need to just really trim the seam allowance off to make it smaller and then I need to turn it inside out. Um, on the other end I have stitched across the end um, so that it's not open-ended on both sides. So this is the full length of the dress. I've made the waist tie like it says to do so it's not actually attached um, so you just tie it in a couple of knots or tie it into a bow, whichever you prefer. You could do it tight and just have that tucked in there. Or one way I like, I found I like to wear it, just put it down a bit, puff out the, the fabric and it just brings it nice and light and airy around the top there. And I'm, it would be probably super easy to lengthen it to make it into a full length maxi, which I haven't done because I don't have enough material, but actually I'm thinking uh, that would work quite well as well. I'm definitely going to make another one of these at some point because I need to go get some more fabric. Um, but I'm really happy with it. So thanks for watching and I would love it if you subscribe to my channel and hit, I don't know, about here, hit the subscribe button and I will see you next time. Oh, and don't forget, you can follow me on Instagram and my name is Halesmore7 and on Twitter, I'm just Halesmore. All right, thanks for watching. Bye.